हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एच डी पवार मैडम गोकटे पी यू कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड साइंस बेलगाम टुडे वी शैल कंटिन्यू विद द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स टॉपिक मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स पार्ट नेशनल इनकम सेकेंड टॉपिक पार्ट फाइव वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन फोर पार्ट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन वॉट इज प्लैंड एक्यूमुलेशन वेर इनिशियल स्टॉक इज हंड्रेड and uh, the firm wants to increase the accumulate the stock at the year end to 200 and it is expecting to sell sell 1000 shares so it produces 1000 plus 100 extra shares so that at the year end 200 shares are accumulated today we will see what is planned decumulation uh, with example decumulation means what it is a fall or it is a decrease in the inventory so uh, explain planned decumulation with example the same example we are going to take again it means a fall in the inventory if a firm wants to reduce the stock decumulate the stock it wants to decrease the stock it wants to reduce the stock from 100 shirts to 25 shirts from 100 to 25 it wants to reduce okay and plans to sell 1000 shirts as usual it will produce 1000 minus 75 because it wants to reduce the stock to only 25 shirts so it is going to produce how much 75 shirts less that is it will produce only 925 shirts as it plans to sell 75 shirts out of the inventory of the 100 shirts then if the sales turn out to be 1000 as expected the firm is left with planned decumulation or reduced inventory of 25 shirts just see the table the initial inventory is we have taken the same example 100 shirts then it is expecting expected to keep the stock at the year end it that is it plans to keep how much 25 shirts only here a slight printing mistake 2 is printed above and 5 is printed down it is 25 shirts it wants to reduce the inventory at the year end to 25 shirts only then third column you see it is expecting to sell sell 1000 shirts as the previous examples only then production how much it is going to do now it will it is expecting to sell 1000 so it will not produce 1000 but it will produce 75 shirts less because it wants to sell from the stock so that it the stock gets reduced to 25 shirts so 1000 minus 75 how many shirts 925 shirts are produced then you see the fourth column a uh, fifth column actual sales takes place is how much as expected 1000 shirts get sold how 1000 shirts get sold 925 shirts that are produced in the current year plus from the initial inventory from the stock beginning stock of 100 shirts 75 shirts are sold so 925 produced plus 75 shirts of from the stock get sold and actual sales turn out to be 1000 shirts as expected so at the year end 25 shirts that is it there is a decumulation of stock i hope you have understood it the same examples you are going to take in the exam otherwise you may not get marks okay so this is planned accumulation planned decumulation then previously you have done planned unplanned uh, decumulation and unplanned accumulation so these are four things and in any manner they may come maximum they may ask you for four marks or they may ask you for six marks also then uh, we have seen the circular diagram in that we have seen we have explained it with what two sector model taking only the firms and the household and we have that is the firms are um, producing the goods and services and uh, the 
uh, households are consuming the goods and services that is they are doing consumption expenditure for consuming they are doing expenditure on the goods and services where we determine where producer firms produces the goods and services that method we have got is what product or value added method we will do it uh, product or value added method it is called as then uh, third one you see expenditure that is the firms uh, the uh, household are spending on purchasing of goods and services there we determine expenditure method then the uh, the household is providing the factor services in the form of land labor capital and organization and therefore the firms are paying them factor rewards factor payments are done in the form of what they are they are household are getting income in the form of rent wages interest and salaries and profits uh, and that is called as income method so uh, the three methods what are the three methods of estimating or calculating national income the three methods are product or value method value added method then income method and expenditure method briefly explain the product or value added method of calculating national income okay the first method we will take it is aggregate value aggregate means what the total value you please take the screenshots it is the aggregate or total value of final goods and services produced in a year intermediate good values goods values are not included in the final values final values means only the final value is taken intermediate goods are not included like example a shirt is produced only the total final value of the shirt is included in the national income figures in the of uh, while calculating product method the the price of cotton the price of yarn the again is not included again separately only one final value is taken why because it may lead to it leads to double counting and the national income figures will show more figures it will show higher numbers which is not correct so it is the total value of final goods and services produced in a year intermediate good values that is the raw materials that are used are the values of those are not included in the final values again it is where some value what is how will you define product method or value added method vat v a t vat okay value added method uh value added method that means it is where some value addition takes place to the product at each stage of production some value addition is taking place to each stage of production we will see that uh, with the example in some other uh, Uh, in other some explanation now i'll just explain slightly here that is uh, firstly if you have to produce a shirt you need what first cotton so there is some value for the cotton that cotton gets converted into yarn that is dhaga okay so some value is added to that cotton in the form of a thread then from yarn it is converted to what cloth so while converting the yarn into cotton some value addition again takes place to that cotton from cotton then ready made shirts are uh, created so again value addition takes so for at each stage of production some value gets added to the product and that leads to the final value of the product that is called as value added method value added is equal to how do you calculate that value of output means the value of the total of the final good minus the value of intermediate goods say example 300 is the value of the output minus say intermediate 
values are 50 so 250 is the final output now here example is taken of a farmer and baker see here how many columns are there One, uh, four columns are there uh, just see uh, producer where he uh, first producer is a farmer who is producing wheat then value of total output produced uh, by the farmer of wheat is 100 assume 100 units now for the first one uh, say he may be just having the seeds uh, so there is no intermediate goods value here the first one is always left empty uh, dash you write so final total value of the output is 100 and gross value that is uh, gross value is 100 value of total output total produced is 100 intermediate good is dash so gross value added gva gross means the total value added is what 100 now baker you come to the second producer wheat is converted as bread uh, so baker is producing bread and from wheat converting that wheat to bread value of total output is 200 ok it is 200 units then say uh, the intermediate good value is 50 that is uh, he may have produced the wheat, he may have the baker may have produced the wheat at the cost of 50 so that 50 is deducted and so value addition takes place is how much then 150 from from converting that wheat to bread value addition has taken to 150 units so gva that is gross value added at market price market price means the current year price the prevailing price the market price is equals to gdp at market price gdp is what gross domestic product at market price is equals to gva at market price means gva at market price is only equal to gdp at market price they are same uh, i think for today we shall stop thank you